All right, Milton Glazer. So for this one, the first thing you want to do, go into Photoshop and collect a whole lot of stuff by Milton Glazer. So here's some stuff by him. And I've already I've already done this. So here we've got um, a selection of some work that I liked of his. You can see it's kind of colorful, but it's sort of reduced in vibrancy. It kind of looks retro, a little bit faded. Kind of a cool retro look, I think, I feel. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so um, now this is too large. Um, so what you're going to have to do is go image size and make it pretty small. I'll show you why later, but um, just change this to 20% smaller. It's low quality, kind of low quality. But um, the reason is, when you're saving this as a JPEG, um, I'm just going to call this a Milton to be analyzed. That's probably right. Yeah, a Milton to be analyzed. When you save as a JPEG, it's going to tell you how big the memory is for it. So at 275k, this image is too big to be um, analyzed by Color Explorer. So I'm going to bring it down to the quality of 11, and it's 214. So that's fine. It's okay. Um, don't need that anymore. I'm going to come back to Photoshop in a second. We're going to go on the internet, go to Color Explorer, go choose file, and Milton to be analyzed, and upload that image. And we'll see what kind of colors Milton Glazer um, uses. Okay, so no surprises. Some pastels, some pinks, some mauves, you know, black is a, a, a color he uses as well. But you don't have to use just 10. If you don't like those, you could go to 15. Let's see what you come up with 15. Uh, yep, I like those ones. They're okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, print the screen, go back into Photoshop, um, and paste this in. And these are the colors that we're going to use um, in our golden section for our designer. So open up a golden spiral, um, a golden section, golden spiral, whatever, and just using the two tools um, of the eyedropper and the paint bucket tool, you can quickly fill it in. Um, so I'm just going to do that. Okay, so here we have a gold spiral filled with Milton Glazer kinds of colors. No surprises, lots of pastels, colorful but slightly dulled. So um, we can uh, start working on the poster. So uh, go new international paper A3, uh, 300 pixel per inch. So here we go, this is the poster and I want to have that gold section in here. Um, and I'm, I'm going to put all my golden section uh, color analysis in the uh, bottom right hand corner and I'm going to give it a stroke just to separate it from the outside. This is, Black is a color that uh, Milton Glaser uses so I'm just going to use black. Um, right, cool. So the reason we're going to have this on the poster is so that we can quickly grab colors that we want to use in the poster and everything that we're going to use is from this but also it shows the rest of this sort of color scheme. All right, so um, let me just show you some stuff that I did before we started. I've gone on the internet and I found some stuff about Milton Glaser. It's kind of bio. I, you know, he's Hungarian Jewish. lived in New York. Did the I Love New York logo, psychedelic Bob Dylan poster. Uh, it's just about him. What I want you guys to do is actually talk more about the style, but I don't have enough time for this. But um, I'm going to do four. You're going to do one. Um, so this is Milton Glaser. And the other thing I did is um, downloaded some cool uh, fonts from the internet as well. So some of these are defont, some of these are 1001 uh, fonts. This is some of them are F fonts. Oh, two of these, three of these, I think, are from Font Squirrel that I quite like. Font Squirrel doesn't have that many fonts, but what they do have are quite cool. So Cartoon Adventures is nice and fun. Johnny Lunchpail, I've never seen this one before, but it's really cool. I think there's, I like the eye. Uh, Magical Mystery Tour is a sort of a Beatles font. Um, Delta Haymax 9 just reminded me of the 60s cartoon I used to, I used to see. And Playfair Display. I chose this one because it kind of looks a bit 60s to me, but you need to have at least one of, of these fonts that you can kind of read a little bit easier. So anyway, three ingredients. Cool fonts that remind you of the designer. Or five fonts. And some information from them. And some images. 
So now we're going to just open up some images of... Um, I'm going to put it third in the zone. So here's some images. So I want to have the picture of the artist. Um, and... Whoops and some other things that he's done. So it's up to you what you decide uh, to use. I'm going to put this one in. And what else? Um, well, we all know him from this one, so I may as well put this one in. Um, that's a quote from him. And all right, this one. This one. Um, Okay, cool. So I'm just going to get them all into the A3 document now. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm selecting all of that image with Control A or Pretzel A, Control X or Pretzel X, closing the document and Control V or Pretzel P into this document. So I'm just pasting it in. So I've got all the things that I want to use on one document. And what's this other one? Have I got this one? Do I need it? Yeah, I'll get this one too. Um, okay, cool. So let's just turn these off for a second, the, except for the um, uh, color scheme. So what I want to do is get a background color, something that's not too obvious but looks kind of Milton Glaser. So I don't know, just to be interesting, I'm going to choose this sort of mint here and uh, fill the entire background with that mint. All right? Or is it blue or green? I can't tell, but it's it's kind of a cool, funky color. And the golden section is going to go at the bottom. Um, now, what have we got? So, okay, so I want a picture of the designer. Um, <clears throat> up here might make him a little bit bigger with Control T or Pretzel T. I uh, might make that a little bit bigger. I'm not going to go too big. Um, most people kind of like this one. But um, uh, I might just do a section of it though. Oh, I know I'll do the whole lot. Um, and uh, this one. Don't know where I'm going to put these all, but um, I'm just going to play with the sizes a little bit. I might put this one at the top uh, left. That one I'm going to talk about in a second. And uh, this one can go down here, but I want to get rid of that text. So I might just use a selection of it. I think it's a bit too big. I wonder if I could just do this. And select the inverse. Just chop that out. Cool. I think that looks a bit better. And I think the same with this one. I think I'll get rid of the text. Oops. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay, anyway. Um, cool. So I'm happy with those. Now, I'm not sure about the layout yet. I've kind of got quite a few images now. What I'll do is that I'm actually going to flip this one over, so I'm going to go image rotation horizontal. Whoops, no, not that. I'm going to go edit transform flip horizontal. Uh, but that one's got text on it. So now I'm going to do it to this one. Okay, edit transform horizontal. Now I'm kind of changing his artwork, but I want those two faces to kind of turn to each other. I think that could look neat. And I might have... Um, oh, I might do this, actually. I might do... put these two faces at the bottom. I don't know if this is going to look lame. Uh, it could be interesting. It's kind of a weird designer anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. So there we go. Um, now... Cool. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of sort of sort of symmetry is sort of being worked out now. Da -da 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 -da. Right now I'm just going to turn everything off for a second, and I'm just going to come back to this massive high quality one, which is the one everybody knows. So um, first of all, I don't want to have any of that, but I am going to talk about this um, to inform and delight thing, which I'm going to use as a quote. And the um, reason I've got a high quality one is that this is actually going to be in the background. So with the quick selection tool, I'm just going to select everything that around. This is Bob Dylan. A psychedelic version of Bob Dylan by Milton Glaser. 
So that background I've just selected with a quick selection tool, I'm going to cut that out. So now I've got it on that crazy mint background. And I'm going to make it huge. Oh, wait. I think I might have it down. Ah, oh, right, I know. Sorry. I'm going to make it... Oh. I've done that, have I? Sorry about that. Um, so anyway, all I did was um, I just made this version bigger. I don't want that picture of him there, but I'm just going to remove that back, 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 until we just get the face. Cool. There we go. And the reason I did that is that we're going to use this as a shape for where the text is going to go. And we want this. Um, I'm not so sure about uh, these other bits and pieces, because that's kind of like getting in the way now. There are lots of faces, aren't there? So um, I might make that a lot smaller. Okay, so here we go. We've kind of decided a, a composition now. So uh, I'm not going to flatten anything yet because I want things to stay in layers. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the name of the artist here in black, Milton Glazer. And I've chosen this cool Cartoon Adventures one. I think that kind of sums them up. But I'm just going to decrease the size a tiny bit. So there we go, Milton Glazer. And I might put that there. Um, or is that the best place? I'm not sure. Maybe I'll put that on two lines. So these are kind of design considerations that you need to have. Because I can make it a little bit bigger, you see. But I like that font. It's it's fun. It's fun. I um, I might actually try to get glazer on a closer so I might put that on a different layer but the same size and just have it a lot closer there we go Milton Glazer so Milton and Glazer can be moved together and it's looking quite cool there and then I'm gonna um, what am I gonna do Okay, cool. So I quite like Milton Glazer there. Now, here's the trick. What we want to do is go to the pen tool. And what we're going to do is we're going to change it to path. So path up here and pen tool. And we're going to use the pen tool to follow the shape around this uh, face. And all the other shapes that we've got until we end back up there. Okay, so now we've got this shape. And it's a path, so if you go to over here, layers, channels, paths, there's this thing called work path, which is the thing, the shape that we just did. Now we're going to go to our text tool, one with a T on it, and if you go anywhere else, it's usually a square, but if you go on this, it changes to a circle. And the reason is, uh, it's now going to have text that's going to fill this weird shape that looks like a state from the USA. Alright, so obviously we're not going to do it that big. And then you can go back to your information that you've uh, taken about Milton Glazer. Copy that. Go back to Photoshop. And you can paste it in. And it's filling that space just right. Now I'm going to right, uh, sorry, left um, align it. So it looks quite professional. And I'm going to change the font to... What's it called font? Playfair Display. Alright. Playfair Display that I've downloaded, so I have to find Playfair Display. Playbill, Playfair Display. Cool. That looks cool. That looks very 60s. And you see it's sort of following the shape of Bob Dylan's hair and all the rest of it. Okay. Now the very last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have this very famous quote by Milton Glaser called To Inform and Delight. And don't need that, don't need that. And I'm going to put it somewhere here, but I don't know quite where. It might do the same sort of thing, so... Um, pen tool and use this shape. Cool, now the last thing I've 
added as to inform a delight in Johnny Lunchpail 